Hey guys, it's Oh Stadio and welcome to Comic Space and with Deadpool and Wolverine being on the horizon and San Diego Comic Con fast approaching, Marvel Studios is gearing up for their one of the biggest presentation yet with the major slate update with lots of new projects announced. Marvel Studios next slate revealed at this year's San Diego Comic Con is just going to be jam packed and they're probably going to overdo themselves and exceeding the previous presentation that literally blew the roof of the previous Hall H. So, we know that Marvel Studios is getting up for Hall H. They are going to be present at this year. And we have some major industry insider coming up now and stating what we can actually expect with lots of major projects that Marvel Studios is looking forward to green light. So, again, we are going to talk all about Hall H and some very exciting projects that Marvel Studios is still talking about. So, a lot to talk about. So our first update is coming from Daniel RPK and again if you have been following our channel or have been part of the rumor mill we like to give him a lot more reverence and as you also have been quite in grad record as well as you have went on to state. I heard that Marvel's plan is to reveal a lot at this year's San Diego Comic Con even more than D23. So again there is also a follow up update that we need to talk about it, in it includes Blonde Phantom, The White Tiger white tiger and the cloak and all of that kind of stuff but coming back to this so the previous holiday that marvel studios was present in was back in 2022 and they revealed a bunch of stuff and like i said earlier they blew the roof of that place with announcing both of the avengers film at that point which were coming at the same year so i think one of the first thing that we can expect if there are going to be major changes to the slate and release date and the release schedule for sure i think we are going to get in major slate update so the new announcement that we are going to get at this year comic con are probably going to be moving forward from 2026 and then because again 2025 slate is already quite full they already have four movies on slate and we don't have an official announcement about spider-man 4 yet but we know that is also going to be coming out next year as well so all in all originally the phase 5 was supposed to be ending at this year so I think they're probably tracking on the time but again with all of the delays happening. So again coming back to Avengers because again there has been a lot of talks about this. If they were to divide Avengers Secret Wars into two parts with part 1 and part 2 and just making this a whole out trilogy with Avengers 5 and two parts of Avengers Secret Wars we probably will be getting an announcement there. But again it just has been in talk and idea. We still haven't got anything concrete on that front. So I think one of the major announcements that we can be getting is the Young Avengers. That has to be the all-out big announcement that they can make at this year's San Diego Comic Con. We know they have been working but again we are officially going to get an announcement and probably with a release date attached to a project. So as we believe Young Avengers are also supposed to be coming out at the same point of Avengers Secret Wars just around that corner, just around that schedule. So again, we, I think that's the biggest announcement that we possibly can have. I don't think so they're going to make an official announcement about Spider-Man 4 because it is still comes into that Sony area. So, so they're going to leave that for Sony. So over the course of past few months, we have been talking about projects like Midnight Suns, Thor 5 and all of that kind of stuff. But again, with all of the projects that are still rumored and are looking forward to be pretty down the road, then not going to be right around the corner or probably going to fit into the multiversal puzzle with moving forward with 2026 which is also supposed to be the Avengers 5 release date so we do have to aside all of those projects that are looking pretty down the road and kind of focus what can be happening around this Avengers film because that's how the next slate is probably going to be planned with because so again I think all of the projects that we are going to get moving forward with all of the announcements they're probably going to be featured around this Avengers film if they're still tracking on that release schedule. So again at Comic Con this year I'm pretty much expecting all of the major updates and all of the feature length films update and as of D23 they're probably going to reserve that for much more Disney Plus side. There probably can be a lot more sneak peek and all of that kind of stuff moving forward and stuff for that is just right around the corner and that is going to be on Disney Plus and we are going to have a full slate not even a full slate i would say but a major slate update for 2026 moving forward because 25 is already full and again there has been talks of doctor strange 
because again there are lots of names going on and lots of titles going on and i'm really not sure so i'm not really making a whole video about just in release schedule with a whole slate breakdown yet because again i'm really not sure about how all of these things are going to play it out so another major and most anticipated project has to be doctor strange 3 but again as far as the rumors and the update goes marvel studios can be looking forward to not utilize all the stories that they have planned for strange does not require of them featuring clea and strange in a full out solo doctor strange film and they might like to kind of combine all of those elements within avengers fine secret wars and that's how they kind of just move forward with strange story but again another project is strange academy which i think wong and america chavez again i don't know what's happening with that project because for the longest time we haven't heard anything about it i think it was a it has been a quite a while we have since we have talked about that project in silver surfer presentation that we are expecting around the release date of fantastic four before or even after but again, I think as we are heading towards Avengers 5 and Avengers Secret Wars, because that's how the next slate is probably going to be 26 and moving forward, we probably can be expecting some major updates and Armor Wars. Oh god, I, I did forget about Armor Wars. That film is still coming out, as of right now at least. So Armor Wars updates, for sure, I'm really expecting that. So as we are talking about how Marvel Studios next phase and that is going to be the final phase of the Multiverse Saga Phase 6 is going to shape up the next slate revealed and how insane it is going to be. So we for sure know there are some big films coming up from next year and with Deadpool and Wolverine coming up this year but Marvel Studios is also working on some major projects on the Disney Plus side with in current development of Nova, Blonde Phantom, Punisher, Wiccan and strange tales and white tiger so all of these projects are still in just development but i think the two of them are the most promising are nova because again i think that is happening so nova is happening which is obviously going to be uh, quite down the road but that is happening and blonde phantom because we have heard a lot about blonde phantom and again blonde phantom is probably going to be as its own thing and not to do too much with the multiverse stuff or to do too much with the other heroes it is probably going to be just as its own but i think stuff like nova and punisher i think it is a very prominent one if you're talking about wiccan and white tiger and strange tales so i think the stuff like that are still in a quiet and discussing phase and we even have heard stuff like strange academy featuring wong and america chavez and all that sort of stuff so again i think all that kind of stuff is still in the discussing phase in opposite to much more concrete ideas where they know that yeah we are doing this we are going to do these characters and they also know within what framework they are going to work the stories and characters out so i think if marvel studios is going to make a full phase 6 announcement at this year's san diego comic con it has to be an insane one because this is the biggest phase yet so on that point, I would like to see you guys off. Well, that's it for this one, guys. But before you go, you can consider to grab the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the latest Marvel or DC update. I'm so glad that you guys got the time to hear me out. Thanks for listening to me. This is your host, Adi, signing off. See you in the next one.